this is the gateway to the 2018 Red Bull Hardline track here in stunning Snowdonia. Behind me lies the most difficult and progressive mountain bike racetrack on the planet. And for 2018, they've lowered the start, meaning the warm up is gone and the riders are now straight into the thick of the action. Greg, I know you've never been up here before. What do you think of it? Well, I've been in a lot of start huts, but I've never seen a start where the riders will leave on the brakes. It's down to that rocky left hander. It's exposed, it's rugged. And if this is just the start straight, I'd hate to see what's further down. You're a man of big air and there's some big jumps. I'm going to take you to one right now. Into the woods and fired out by this, the cannon. One of the biggest jumps on this track. From that takeoff to that landing there, it's 60 feet. And believe me, coming up short really isn't an option like a pony. Did he do it? It's so big, you can't see that jump at all. Blew my mind, I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs> it's that like, big. I don't have to it? do it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Let's leave it there. You're the GM, you ain't gotta do anything you don't wanna. <laughs> Seconds after landing the cannon, the riders are into this, the step up. Riders scrape the stratosphere here, and it has a metal ramp, the only metal ramp on the entire track, so it has the most predictable takeoff, but it is the most unpredictable jump. How was that, GM? Dirty ferns, done and dusted? Hey Rob, this is like one of the easier pieces of track, and it's really not that easy. The jump's not that big. But you're still turning right at the base of the jump and you're dropping into like a bomb or right before it, so it makes it pretty tricky. This is one of the most daunting parts of this track, the infamous and iconic road gap. And Greg, I guess this is one of the parts that really sets this aside from any other downhill racetrack on planet Earth. In a World Cup race, we'd take a section of track that's relatively smooth. We don't take a 55 foot gap <laughs> to relax. But this is a section of track where you're in between two really technical pieces, so you're going to have to take a breather. If you manage to get around that right hander at the bottom, you're probably going to regroup, take a breath, send it off this. How are we looking? We've been here 40 minutes now. We're going to get a decision soon. Or is he going to be doing it by moonlight? Is it getting any easier the longer you look at it? Have you tried it? Do you want me to come out there and mentor you? Besides my fear of judging speed and everything else, yeah. I have a massive fear of heights. Yeah. I'm here to help you. I mean, I don't blame you for not doing it. It's ridiculous. But you see, from here we can see it. We can see the landing, but you go two metres back. Yeah, but on your bike, you're even taller. Go near there and look down and see how we are. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely all right. I don't think you've got anything to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, coach. <laughs> We're right at the very bottom of the track now. For 2018, there is a real sting in the tail. This brand new finish straight, which to be honest, is on another level to anything I've ever seen. It's going to be a tough finish straight. I was chatting to G earlier and he was saying that left hand corner is going to be really tough to carry some speed. You've got a, the log boner and then of course the 65 foot gap to finish it off. It's one of the biggest jumps on the track right when the riders are most exhausted. And with the heavens opening, I promise you, this is going to be the hardest Red Bull hardline ever. <laughs>